Dear Alexander, 10. Identity. Recreate yourself. It's very easy to lose yourself in your identity by connecting who you are with what you do. In your transition from adolescence to early adulthood, you heavily identified solely with being a basketball player. Only after you moved away from the game did you realize how dangerous that mentality was. While it may have helped you develop an obsessive passion and work ethic to the best you could be, it hindered your ability to move on once it was time to detach and let go from that identity and that, that sport and that life. While you found relative peace and solitude in that past version of yourself, understand that your identity, your perception of who you are, is a fleeting and fluid concept. Being rigid in your identity only slows you down from evolution, from moving forward in the long run. And there's only one solution that I've come up for, come up for, for this. Constantly challenge yourself to evolve and grow. Recreate yourself, be formless like water. I want to add something that I heard recently because I wrote this some time ago. Should I say who it's from? Uh, maybe I'm not going to say who it's from, but I heard a very profound, simple quote from someone that life is like water and it applies to so many situations, including this. Your identity is like water. Every version of yourself has a purpose for a specific time, but like everything, it must, be it must inevitably come to an end. Growing requires constant death and rebirth. This cyclical nature invites the, your identity to be remodeled. But only if you allow it to change and be remodeled. Only once you allow old roots and old parts of yourself to die, can new forms and new roots be resurrected and recreated. And a new, more integrated, intelligent self be born I think that's what's happening with the, with, the, with these every every writing I do it's like an, it's like a new ver slightly new version of myself every new dear Alexander it's like another concept it's another like tweak in my system in my being 